Hi, I got a question from a viewer who wanted to know how to export part of the family tree uh, because they want to share part of the tree with uh, a DNA cousin. And so honestly, I'm going to show you how to do it, but you can't do it in Ancestry. So just to recap, if you go to tree settings and you go to export, you cannot export just part of the tree, you can only export the entire tree. So we're gonna go away from Ancestry and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Family Tree Maker. If this is your first time here, my name is Connie Knox and my whole gig is to help you go further faster and factually with your family history research. Now you can do this in other third-party software. So I'm gonna demonstrate this in Family Tree Maker, but you can do this in some of the other softwares. I don't have copies of the other software, Occasionally I use Family Tree Maker, so that's what I'm going to show you. I created a brief little handout. If you want to pick that up, you can go over to genealogytv.org forward slash handouts and pick that up for a couple of bucks to help support the channel and help support creating videos like this. Uh, you can also get it as part of the channel membership, as part of the Patreon membership, or part of the Academy membership. All of those memberships um, at the appropriate level would get the handout. So hey, thanks for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. All right, so here we are in Family Tree Maker and you'd have to purchase this software. You can Google it and find it. It's pretty easy. And I think it's pretty affordable. All right, so once you have your family tree built out in Family Tree Maker, you can pick an ancestor and here she is right here highlighted. Say that, like, let's pretend for a moment that we want to export the the ancestors of this person. All right, so we want to export this person. We go to file and we go to export. We want to export the ancestors only, okay? We could do descendants, we could do a variety of things. So I'm not gonna say entire file. I'm gonna say selected individuals and I'm because she's highlighted, she automatically pops up. So I'm gonna say include all ancestors of Mary Jane Plymail. So I hit Ancestors. And it says, do we want to include all the parents? Only the preferred parents, I'm going to say all. We're going to include all spouses or only preferred spouses, I'm going to say all, okay? And include ancestors' descendants. I am not going to check this because I only want to export for this exercise the ancestors. I'm going to say okay. It gives me a list and there aren't many because it's down the tree a little ways. And now I'm going to hit apply. So I could exclude people. Like if I wanted to remove this person, I could say exclude and it would pop them back over here, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit apply. And now it says, uh, do we want to include all the tax? First of all, we wanna privatize living people unless you're sending this to your brother or something, you know, we want to privatize out of respect for people. Uh, we want to privatize those people. So uh, we could exclude the tasks. We could include maybe the media files, but maybe not the private media files. We could say charts and reports. We could remove all the private stuff, the facts and the notes, those kind of things. If we have notes in Family Tree Maker that is private, sometimes we do this when we're working on hypothesis or something, we might make a private note in there. And include only items linked to selected individuals. I would say yes on that and say okay. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm gonna say ancestors of Mary Jane Plymail and I'm gonna hit save, and it's going to export those ancestors only. Now, that exported to my desktop as a family tree maker file. What if I wanted to export it as a GEDCOM? So I could go through the same process again. Let's turn off the media files. This time I hit the down arrow and I'm going to say GEDCOM. This way, whoever is receiving this file can upload it to Ancestry. They could upload it to wherever they want to upload it, Wikitree and so on, or their private software just using a GEDCOM file. Most of the time though, and I don't know specifically about Family Tree Maker, but most of the time when you export a GEDCOM, it's not going to export the media files. Now, some of the later versions of GEDCOM 
have been exporting media files, so you're just going to have to experiment with it. We're not the entire file. We want only Mary Jane Plymail, so we're going to include ancestors of Mary Jane Plymail. We're going to keep that the same, and we're going to hit apply. And so we're back here again, and so now we have uh, just those individuals. This time we're going to export it as a GEDCOM file. Now, when you export something as a GEDCOM file, you don't want to open it. It's Unless you have a GEDCOM reader, uh, you're not going to be able to see anything. So I recommend that you just send it. It's kind of like a compressed file. You can just send it to whoever it is you're sending it to. And then they can upload it without opening it. They can upload it to Ancestry or wherever they're going to upload it. And they're good to go. Destination. Export to GEDCOM destination. I'm going to say Other Ancestors of Mary Jane Plymail. This time it is not a family tree maker file. It is a JEDCOM as you can see here and I'm going to hit save and away it goes and now it's successfully exported and that's all there is to it.